Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a Gap haul for you today. A little bit of Banana Republic as well, but mostly Gap. I wanted to try on their jeans. I haven't tried their jeans in so long, but I actually own a pair that I gave to my daughter a long time ago, and they're still going strong. So I'm not sure if these will fit me. That's the problem. I always fluctuate with my weight from winter to summer. I lose weight in the summer and I gain at least 10 pounds back in the winter time. So I'm not sure what my size is. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, honestly. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a different format this time. I've seen other content creators do it where they explain their purchase and then they have the side kind of visual. So we'll see how that goes. I do like giving my commentary in between those, so we'll see how it goes. I have my computer in front of me so I can give you the exact information. By the way, this top is on sale today and I'm not sure that I'm gonna get this up in time, but I think it's on sale for 50% off today. I am gonna do a little TikTok video after this and hopefully post it so that you guys can see it. Maybe I'll post it up on a short for YouTube. Um, let me just see now, where are we? thought I was more organized than this. I'm trying, I'm really trying. All right, so I do have a pair of jeans on back order. No, I got a jean jacket that's on back order. It's the pink, it's a Barbie jean jacket. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not a pink girl generally. I like pink lipstick, but I don't know what this pink jean jacket's gonna look like. So I did order the adult puff sleeve icon denim jacket that is on back order. I did pay full price for that. That's $119.95. Rather than wait to put this up, I'm probably going to put that in a short um, and on TikTok and Instagram for you. Yeah, I bought a lot. Oh no, I did get this on sale. Did I? Oh, I got this on 25% off. I'm going to show it to you in a minute, but I paid $33.74. And I think it's 19 something now. Darn it. This is called the Oversized Vintage Tunic Sweatshirt for women. It's in the heather gray. I like sweatshirts that are thin. I get so hot. I'm 51 years old. I have hot flashes. I run hot often. I don't want a big puffy sweatshirt on. So I really like this. And again, I'll show it to you in a minute. I've always wanted this belt from Banana Republic. It is amazing quality. It is expensive, but I know I'm gonna have this belt forever. This is called the Leather Corset Belt, and it was $200 Canadian. Now it is leather, it is exactly the style I was looking for, and to me this is a purchase that's gonna last a lifetime. It's not a throwaway belt. It looks good, it feels good. I'm gonna show that to you as well. I purchased the Mid-Rise Baby Boot Jean with Washwell. I do like a baby boot, not so much a large boot jean. So we'll see how that fits. I did get that on sale as well. It was $62.10 Canadian. I got $6.90 off. I ordered a size 30 in the regular. Now this might be too hot. I picked up the Shaker Stitch Crew Net Sweater. Shaker Stitch, I can't talk. Shaker Stitch Crew Neck Sweater. I got it in the navy blue and I got it medium. It was regularly $67. I got it for $60.30, $6.70 off. I also have been looking for a pair of faux leather pants. I don't like anything tight feeling and that's why I'm a little worried that I got a size 30 instead of a 31 because I do like things fitting loose. And I got these in a size eight. I got a mid-rise faux leather loose pant. I'm hoping that they're loose enough. Got them in a size eight. I paid $98.95. I got $11 off, so that equals 10% off. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't from The Gap. This is from Old Navy. And I got the Boy Fit jeans with Washwell. I got the Light Indigo Destroy, size 30, regular. They are regularly $54 and I paid $54. I'm excited about those. Then I've got the Mid-Rise Organic Cotton. These are 90s loose jeans with Washwell. They're a 30 inch waist in regular length. They're regularly $76 and I paid $68.40. Oh, I got another Mid-Rise Baby Boot Jean with Washwell. All right, <laughs> so I got them in the same size. I must've known I'd like the style, I hope I do. So I got the medium wash and I've got the, the dark wash. I got a cute little hat. Oh geez, I'm gonna have to take my hair down for that one. And I also got the puff sleeve denim jacket with Washwell. I paid $98.95. I got a size medium. I've tried it on already and I think it looks really cute, I hope. Just have to figure out how to style these things. Oh, by the way, for reference, I am a size 10 or a size eight. In the summer, I've been more of a size eight. I like a medium or a large. I believe my measurements are 36C now and a 30 waist. 
and I might even be, I still might be a 31 waist, but my hip size has gone down to a 40 and it was 41 and a half. I'm five, five and three quarters, so I'm almost five, six. I might even be five, five at this point. I might be shrinking a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. By the way, I wanna tell you that this necklace will be linked in my description box. This is a Canadian brand. It's called Pilgrim. I believe and I love these pieces this came together I bought them at Simon's but you can order from their website and I will leave a link for you there um, what else oh and I wanted to show you these look aren't these cute I got these off of Amazon from my favorite designer his name is Robert Lee Morris and I will link those as well I just they're super comfortable nice and light they add some color to my very plain wardrobe i'm not a big color person so i'll put that in my description box as well and yeah now i'm ready first i'm going to try on the baby boot mid-rise size 30 and oh they're really nice and soft yeah yay they work oh i gotta put you down this is so strange i need to figure out how people do this I'm so used to, mm, I'm really used to filming on TikToks that way when I'm doing clothes. And you can see my whole outfit, of course. Uh, hopefully, let's see. Is that better? <laughs> this is quite large, eh? Maybe I shouldn't have ordered this so big. I believe I got this in a size large. I did, I got it in a size large and it's quite roomy. But you see how it's nice and light and flowy? I really like that. I kind of feel like I'm wearing not much at all, which I like. And I can tuck it in and it's not gonna like stick out like this, you know? It's kind of flowy. I need some shoes with these pants. Can you see it okay? I actually think these work really well. And the length is perfect on me. I'm going to put you down even further. There, now can you see me? <laughs> I am the most amateur at this that you can possibly imagine. I'm going to get better, I swear. So, yeah, these actually are really comfortable. I like a mid-rise because look, my belly button's here. If I had pants that went right up to here, I would not be able to breathe. These are perfect, so when I go to sit down, I don't feel like it's cutting me in half. And yeah, it's really comfortable. And they're a nice stretch, so I'm just gonna, let me just turn around here. How's my butt look? It's getting flatter and saggier. Can I bend? Yep. Can move around and do whatever I want in these pants. Now, wearing a heel, I actually feel like, I don't know, that's a little bit short for a heel. So I probably would wear these with like a Chelsea boot, just with a little bit of a heel, like a chunky Doc Martin or something. And it actually could be worn with my sneakers as well. I don't have them in here right now, but I think you probably get the idea. These are gonna be the same pants in a lighter color. Oh, I like this color a lot. Do I need these though? I don't know. Probably not. I have other pants. Yeah, this length is perfect for a sneaker because I'm walking around and it's just grazing the floor, which is perfect. Could I say perfect anymore? <laughs> so. Anything special about these, except for that they're really comfortable? This is the top I got, the crew neck. I'm not typically a fan of this style. I feel like it makes me look a little wide, but let's give it a go. And I think I got this in a size medium. I do love a navy though. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. Well, it's cute, guys. On me, I feel like I need something a little bit more tapered if it's this length. So when I go for the sweatshirt, I feel like it does elongate me a little bit just because it's longer and a little bit more flowy, if that makes sense. I could be completely kidding myself. See how it kind of buckles out? 
I mean, it's very cute. I do feel like I'm gonna get hot in this though. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna come closer. So I feel like this kind of thing isn't the most flattering on me. Do you still like the jeans? Let me give you an example of what I mean. So I'm gonna find a fitted top that I already own and I'll show you what that looks like with these jeans. I think it was fall already with these sweaters, but I guess it's coming. Yeah, you see the difference? So this one hugs a little bit more and to me, this looks much more flattering. It's also more comfortable because the material is thinner. It's good quality, but it's not as heavy, so I'm not gonna get hot. And I think it's more flattering to my figure in every angle. Yeah, I feel much better in that. So just to give you an example of why I would choose one over the other, definitely I need a fitted top on top. Let me try that jean jacket on for you. I don't even know how I would wear this. Is it my style? I'm not sure. I feel like I need a tank top on. Look at it, this is so cute. Um, does it make me look like a football player? I've got broad shoulders anyways. Let me get a tank top on, hold on. Okay, tank top. And then, I don't know. Maybe I need the leather pants on with this outfit? Yeah. Okay, this is a size eight. Ooh, I like these. Do I? I don't know, I like to be rocker in my head. <laughs> and then when I put something a little bit rocker on or a little edgy, I'm not sure. I used to dress so edgy when I worked at Mac and as a makeup artist. Um, okay, let's evaluate the pants first. I'm not sure about this jacket, guys. I feel like it needs to be a bit more fitted. Ooh, I like these. Okay. I think they're perfect. Yay. What could I wear with this? So it's buttery soft. Um, it doesn't hang too low here, which is nice. I tried a pair of faux leather pants on from Good American last year or maybe two falls ago and I really liked them but I didn't keep them. They were a little bit pricey and they felt really big. The material of those were really soft. This is that same softness. Are they even a little bit big? I mean, I don't know that I'd want them any tighter. I'm looking for a really nice pair of heels that um, are a bit more dainty, a bit more strappy. These shoes are so old, but they'll do. Oh, I think I might keep these. I really like them. And I think this with a nice sweater would look really cute. Super soft. I wonder if they stretch. Has anybody owned a pair of faux leather pants before? I've never owned a pair. Do they stretch? Do they wrinkle? I wouldn't want them to stretch. I need a belt. All right, I have to buy something else, I guess. One more time, before I take these pants off, let's take a good look at this jacket. Is that better when it's done up like that? Hmm. Let me know in the comments what you think. I am not sure about this. I actually feel like it needs to be smaller. That doesn't make sense because the shoulders land exactly where they need to land. Yeah, I think I would like it better if it was done up. Let me see, is it worth it? Then I might suffocate and die. Struggling. All right, so that's done up. Hmm. What if I roll it up? I don't think it looks good on me, but I love the style. I just don't think it suits my style. It's funny because I'm a mix of um, classic and I like a little bit of edge. A little bit of art but this I find even the color of this for me feels a little bit dull I like sharper looking colors if that makes sense for an example I would never wear a color like this because this color would look awful on me but I would wear something brighter I don't feel like I look good in cream white I think I look better with a brighter white and this I feel like is a dull black and I think I look better in a true black that's good to know though. I'm gonna try this on. This is not exactly what I would wear this with, but I love this belt. This is the treat. 
And I might as well take this off because I love it. Hold on. Yeah. I'm keeping this. Not with this outfit, but I've already tried it on with the jean dress. I love the way this looks. I have so many things that are just a little bit baggy and having it cinched in like this with a wide belt is, I think, really pretty. It is leather, so if you're vegan or vegetarian, um, you're not gonna like that. I'm just gonna keep this tank top on and I've got two more pairs of pants to try. No, I have three pairs of pants to try. So this is the 90s loose. Oh my God, I love these. Now, what do I do about the bottom? I love these, I love the rip. It never fails when I go out with ripped pants. Somebody will say, do you know you have a rip in your pants? Yeah, dummy, I, of course I do. I love it. She has the hem down. What do I think about the slit? I really need to fix my camera situation. There. Oh, that might be a little bit better. I don't know, I might be cutting my head off too. We need shoes. Guys, where do you buy your shoes? Are they stretchy? They're perfect. I'll show you from the back, side, and yeah. I feel like I just need to be walking down the beach in my bare feet, chasing a dog. Do I have a blazer? Be cool like that. I even have this oversized jacket that I bought from a thrift store last year. Kind of hides the details though. You can tell I like blazers. This one I got at Winners at the first. Oh, I like that one. I don't have a link for this one. Oh, by the way, guys, all of this stuff will be linked in my description box, except for this. This is old. Now, yeah, I just got to work on the shoes. This blazer I got from Zara last year and I don't have a link for it either, but I love it. I need more occasions to wear this stuff. Okay, different ideas. If you have ideas, let me know. Not claiming to be a professional at this at all. I just wanna be helpful. I know clothing try-on videos help me so much. I don't see a ton of people my size on here actually, and my age. So I see a lot of women who are my age, but they're very petite. I am an average size 10, size eight. So I hope this helps you guys. Okay, and these are the boy jean mid-rise. Oh, I love these too. What size did I get in these? Yeah, I got a size 30, which is a 10. Oh, again, I feel like I could just walk on the beach with these. I feel they're so casual, perfect for lounging around. If Birkenstocks look good on my feet, I think that would look really cute with this outfit. But considering they don't, <laughs> Maybe not with this one. Something like that could look really cute. I don't know, you, there's so many things that you could do with these. Okay, I'm really excited about them. The first pair that I tried on that were really nice, I have a similar pair that I got from American Eagle last year and they're still available at American Eagle. I'm gonna compare the two and we'll see if there's enough of a difference for me to keep both. I don't think there is. I don't have anything in my collection like this and I don't have anything in my collection like the last pair. My hair's gonna be a wreck. Just for curiosity's sake, I wanted to try this on with these. Should I send this back? I medium would have done, eh? You guys let me know. I already took the tag off though, I think. Yeah. I think these pants are my favorite so far. I wish I had I had them at the start of the summer. One last pair. I don't think I realized that I got so many in the baby boots. So these are the same exact style, just in black. They're super cute. Fit perfect. One thing about jeans is it makes your butt look good, eh? Like it just kind of holds everything together. I should wear them more often. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is compare the American Eagle jeans to the Old Navy jeans, just in case you might already have these two. With the magic of editing. Okay, they're not the exact same. They have a little bit of a different color and these are shorter compared to these. So I would say that if I'm wearing a flat, actually the gap would be better. Very similar though. I'll link those two because I know they're still available. I always get asked about these pants. 
I love them. I am a mess from trying everything on and a bit sweaty, but I have a hat to try on for you, so I'm gonna take my hair down. I don't know about this color on me, it kind of matches my hair. I went to bed with my hair wet last night, and this is how it looks. Very kinky in all the wrong spots. Typically when I wear a hat, I wear my hair up through the back, but I'll try it on this way first. Hmm. I don't know how people do this. <laughs> I feel like a puppy dog with fluffy ears. Maybe if it was straighter. Anyone else with their hair falling out? It's a good thing I have a lot of hair because I lose so much. Well, maybe this is good. Hmm. Oh, I meant to show you the belt with a different outfit. I have a jean dress that I will definitely wear that with, but I think that's enough for today. So what I'll do is I'll film a little short video and I'll put it over on Instagram and on TikTok for you. All the links are gonna be in the description box. If you do use my links, thank you so much. It does help support me and I appreciate it so much. I think that's it. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share with all your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.